You don't really know much about Halloween. to another episode of Sinister Snacks. I don't know why my voice is going in and out like that. I'm trying Stop to create it. the Doppler effect. <laughs> I like to say the Doppler effect. Anyway, I'm Joel. I'm Laura. And uh, on I'm this episode, we are... Sorry. <laughs> we are the newly dead. She's usually driving. But we try to mix it up every once in a while. <clears throat> Excuse me. So on this episode, we are revisiting Van Leeuwen, our friend from uh, ice the Ice Cream Planet. planet. Yeah. And this time, they're bringing the heat with <laughs> Idaho potatoes, malted milkshake, and fries, which that one, I think, is the most normal of the ones that we've purchased. Yep. Because a lot of people like to dip their fries in their Frosties or their milkshakes or whatever. I've done it before. Salty sweet. I get it. But dill pickle ice cream um, does not... Yeah, a little... I'm a little scared about the dill pickle. Yeah. But mm -hmm. when we tried the um, honey mustard and pretzel one, or mustard and pretzel, or whatever it was, <clears throat> oddly enough, it kind of worked. Um, and so, who knows? <clears throat> so, um, should I give a little bit of information about it? I'm so, sure. it says, ever since 2008, when Van Leeuwen was born out of a yellow truck in the streets of New York <clears throat> City, we've been making good ice cream from good ingredients that makes you feel good. After all, happiness is healthiness, and nothing makes us happier than malted milkshakes and fries ice cream. We got old school diner vibes and had a hankering for a milkshake and fries or a velvet and frog sticks. So 86 the rabbit food and enjoy a scoop or seven of this slamming combo of Idaho potato french fries and malted ice cream. Isn't that just the bee's knees? I mean, <clears throat> they do make normal ice cream, by the way, so... Just a heads up, this is not all they do. They do have. <clears throat> I don't know why I've got. They make my French here, ice cream. French ice cream is. <clears throat> it's got a lot of eggs in it. It's very eggy. Uh, oh, that's so good, though. All of the other stuff she just said was the same, except then it says, and nothing makes us happier than dill pickle ice cream because there's no stopping us. This tangy yet sweet pickle ice cream is more pickleized. With a dill pickle swirl. Don't knock it until you try it because you know you will. A dill pickle <clears throat> swirl? That's what it says. Oh, God. I don't see a swirl. Oh, great. We did pop the tops. We didn't smell them. We haven't tried them. I just smelled this one. Uh, oh, good. Let's try the malted milkshake <clears throat> one first because I feel like that's <clears throat> less sinister. We have two separate. We should have let it sit out for a little each. bit. Um, yeah. So that way we're not contaminated. I'm going to cleanse my palate with some Wawa. It does smell kind of like a, like, a, like a French fry. You think so? I know. <clears throat> could just be my imagination. I wish I could get rid of oh, this. Oh, a little bit. <clears throat> I wish I could get rid of this. Uh, we're getting over being sick a couple weeks ago. And so we had the uh, yeah, COVID. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers before you chew. chew. All right. So this is the Idaho potato milkshake and fries. Is it gritty? It's got a lot of fries in it. Is that what that is? The grittiness? Mm-hmm. It's potato? Mm-hmm. I have to try a couple bites before I... <clears throat> Hi, Shaggy. Oh, yeah. See, I knew there was going to be some <clears throat> chunkins in there. This is gross. I apologize for all the throat clearing. <laughs> I was doing fine until we started this and I you'd think after I ate ice cream that that would make sense because then you know milk but yeah it's got a lot of potato little chunks like all kind of like throughout it I don't know what it is I have it hmm <laughs> it just looks very concerned I'm gonna cleanse my palate with a little 
delicious coffee and some faux jay and then uh, some water and we'll hit reset here. He is a uh, beverage goblin. If you've seen that girl that sings the beverage goblin song. Look it up on TikTok once she, you hear it. It's amazing. And she's got other great, great content too. Mm -hmm. But uh, that one is, is definitely the way she describes me. And uh, she's, not, she's not wrong. He's been a beverage <clears throat> goblin his whole life. That's not true. That's ever since I started drinking coffee. So, hmm. 20 I'm years. getting much smell there. I just started drinking coffee 10 years ago. Ten years since I started working at, at my current job is when I, I hmm. started drinking coffee. No kidding. After that, yeah, I hadn't drank it before that. Oh god, I didn't like it. I hated it. I see the swirl. You found the swirl? It's right in here. Oh no. <clears throat> this is oh, a lot boy. softer. Oh, well, it's had a little bit more a big. time. Oh, she is going hard. I am going hard. You I see the swirl. Going see, there's hard. a pickle right right in there. Do you see it? Turn the other way. See it? That green oh, chunk. No. <laughs> I love my wife. Oh, boy. It does smell dilly, kind of. <clears throat> Tears before you chew, part two. Hopefully we don't This die. is a fresh spoon, people. This is not contaminated. Mm. Dill. Definitely dill. I definitely taste dill. 100% dill. Oh. I really do love French ice cream, though. Oh, Oh. I like it or not, it's not contaminated, but then I just keep going in. No, I mean we're using new spoons, so we're not oh. mixing Idaho potatoes with uh, dill pickle, which although would make that sense. might be good. <laughs> but we're trying to keep them as two separate tastings. Yeah. Um, I want to get some with like chunks of pickle. Okay, here's it. the thing. So, pickles, generally speaking, if you are getting them out of the fridge and you're eating like a regular just a, a pickle not like on a sandwich but just like pickle you're eating a spear and it's cold out of the fridge cold pickle not weird right mm -hmm. if you eat it on a hamburger or something it's probably warm or hot or whatever you don't always get a cold pickle unless you're making it fresh I like it. <laughs> yeah, right, um, <clears throat> there is actually little pill pickle chunks in here. Mm -hmm. I'd show you, but you're all the way over there. Um, but I think what's throwing me off and making me kind of s like squeamish about it is that it's French vanilla ice cream, right? Mm -hmm. Milk and pickles? <laughs> what do you think? Mayonnaise? Mayonnaise isn't pickles. Creamy. But it's not pickles. It's got eggs in it. But it's not pickles. Don't, no, don't take it away from me. I want them to see the Can little... Can you see the pickles? The little pickle chunks in there. Careful not to <coughs> spill it. And I'm sorry. Uh, ranch... Ranch and, and... Ranch I did not care for. The ranch one, yeah. But I'm just saying, like... I'm trying to get where the swirl is. I get where she's going with her, her train of thought. Um, the dill's not overpowering. But I don't want French vanilla pickles. Uh, ranch with, you know, if you dip a, a, a breaded dill pickle into ranch, yes, you're getting egg and whatever else, but you're not getting French vanilla <laughs> ice cream. Maybe it's a maybe it's just a, a rewiring your brain because you're th trying to think about it in a different way. But and that one's a, a texture thing more than anything. I don't like cold chunky potatoes in my ice cream. Yeah. I like the idea. I, I I'm, I'm a huge salty sweet person. Uh, all day I'll go hard on that. I really like the dill pickle ice cream. The dill pickle one. I feel like people who like dill pickles. But also, hot. like, sweet pickles will actually dig that. I know a lot of people who are, like, pickle crazy. Oh, I know. you. If you're watching the video, you're a friend of ours. You know who you are. I think of, like, yeah. You love pickles. Mm -hmm. And you might like it, although I know you like dill more than sweet. But I don't know if you watch our videos, so. Yeah, I'm going to try the other one again. I'm done. <laughs> 
I'm done. All right, so. I had a couple tastes I'm not doing anymore. I'm sorry. Well, I was trying to get down to where the fry parts were. Besides the fries little. in every bite. Yeah, but. Chunky fries at every bite. Bite? Every bite. Eat it. What? Yeah. <clears throat> this one's not that good. I get what they're going for, and they kind of accomplished it, but I, I feel like... I <laughs> just keep eating it. Here's I mean, the thing I think... It does I taste feel, like potatoes. That's what I was going to say. I think what they need to do is, if you're going to do something like this, we don't need to have the visual representation or the mouthfeel of the item necessarily. It's more about the flavor, so maybe make the potato pieces less noticeable yeah because it just tastes really grainy usually french ice cream is like super smooth and creamy right. and it's throwing me off because mm -hmm. it's chunky mm -hmm. like it tastes like it's freezer burned ice cream like yeah. the cons mouth feel tastes like freezer burned ice cream yeah it's kind of funny and i don't like that mm -mm. uh this one i just don't like on general principle like i'm not a huge fan of dill anyway i like dill pickles and i like dill pickles on my sandwiches but i don't eat them by themselves typically and so that flavor is not appealing to me uh, and we do have more Van Leeuwens to try. Um, this is just, we're kind of spacing them out. So there will be more videos, kids. Mm -hmm. But um, for now... Every time they put on a new flavor, we're going to try it. We have at least two more already on tap. Just as a heads up, they're coming. But uh, uh, so uh, out of 10, I are you them rating separate. them separately? Okay, so out of 10, how would you rate the Idaho... Four. Potatoes first. Uh, I'm giving that... <laughs> I'm giving it a two because the quality of the ice cream, as on the previous video, as I said, is excellent. Van Leeuwen makes fantastic They really do make ice good cream. ice cream. Yeah. But I, I can't get past it. I would not eat more of that at all. Um, so, yeah. yeah. And then for the dill pickle, I know you're going hard on that one, so. Seven? I really like it. It just, like, it surprised me. That I would actually like dill pickle ice cream. That's what happened cream. with the honey, the, the mustard and pretzel one. Yeah. I, I like that one. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm giving it a two also. <laughs> I, I will, they credit to them for having a good product. They've been around for a while. Yeah. And it's fun. It's a fun product. That's, that's And we're still good. buying it just so we can try it. <clears throat> that's another good point. Um, which I saw a TikTok of a woman who was in, a, in the store and saw that they were in the dollar aisle and she still was not willing to try them. And I'm like... If they're a buck, you know, for a pint of ice cream or whatever. I think I paid like four bucks for them or something. I mean, it, it, at least give it a shot. You know, yeah. something you can tell your friends about. A good place to find but. them if you're looking for these funky flavors is Walmart. Walmart has them on their end caps a lot of times. So, But they're out there if you're not a fan of, of the Wallies. Um, all right. Well. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you want to find us, find us at thenewlydeads.com. Uh, the new year is coming, so look for some things that will be headed down the pike as we get further into the year, uh, including more Van Leeuwen's reviews on the Sinister Snacks here. Yep. But uh, until next time, I'm Joel. I'm Laura. We'll see you on the flippity hippity hoppity for the ice cream bippity boppity. What? Okay, bye. Festival of Sauron. Happy Halloween.